Last time on Sudgery and Conflict. Sir Topham Hatt and Mr. Percival exchanged opposing points of view. Sir Topham Hatt had cut off all trade with Mr. Percival and no one on the island was happy about it. Some workmen discussed forming a union against it. And the vicar, Reverend Charles Laxey, was especially upset. He wanted to continue doing trade with Mr. Percival, but Sir Topham Hatt would not have it. And now, the next installment. Sir Topham Hatt and his previously unestablished assistant, Phil Ardman, were keeping an eye on the vicarage orchard. Uh, sir, wh why are we doing this again? Like I already told you, Phil, we're keeping an eye on the vicarage orchard to make sure they don't do any illegal trade. I made it very clear with the vicar that I did not want him doing any trade with Mr. Percival and I don't quite trust him. So what are you going to do if he does? The repercussions will be extraneously severe. See, let me put it this way. Farmer McColl and Reverend Charles Laxey are like business partners with this area. They share the land and they work as partners with one another. <laughs> oh, keep your mind out of the gutter. It's the 40s, mind you. Now, as I was saying, these two men work as partners with one another and practically have an entire monopoly over the Isle of Sodor in regards to farming. Now, this trade cutoff is going to hurt their business very much, so I must keep an eye on them and make sure they keep their contract. Hello, Duncan. Hello, Rusty. Have you heard the news? No, what? They say the transfer yards are being shut down. We're not going to have any work to do. Oh, Rusty, that's terrible. I had no idea. What are we going to do? <sighs> Poor little engines. What's going to become of them? I don't know. Unless I can find some way to keep this economy going, I really don't know what's going to happen to my railway. Well, what about the old mines? Have you ever thought about re-excavating some of those? That could work. That evening, as they so often did, the engines at the sheds were having their nightly conversation. And uh, that's the story of how I got stuck in the tunnel. Spencer? What are you doing here? The engines did not like Spencer. They thought him boastful and arrogant. You guys, I'm, uh, I'm a little worried, to be honest. I... The Duke and Duchess just bought a new diesel. I feel I'm being replaced. A diesel? Oh, well, isn't that just like an oiler to come in and take another engine's place? God, I hate those blasted oilers. Oiler is a politically incorrect, derogatory term used by some steam engines to refer to diesel engines. It's not a word I would recommend using in mixed company. You know, I would like to see every single one of those filthy oilers scrapped. James, please have some sense. You're starting to sound like Hitler. Who's Hitler? peeped Percy, the small green engine. Hitler, began Edward, the old engine, was a very evil man who tried to do away with all people he didn't like. He judged people for the way they looked, and tried to do away with all of them. Well, did he? said Percy. Only somewhat, said Edward, and then the United States intervened and put a stop to him before he could go any further, but a great many lives were still lost. And that, James, is why you should not say such things about diesels. Besides, you know it's not true. You know there are plenty of good diesels, right? Yeah, uh-huh. Spencer soon left, but he didn't feel much better. 